Hello. Welcome to the show Creations of Clay and welcome into my workshop. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and uh, tonight I would like to show you how to do a very cool little animal that everyone loves and uh, a lot of people love horses. And what I'd like to show you tonight is how to do a horse head. And uh, this is what it looks like. I'll just slowly rotate it so you can see it from all sides. You can see, you know, the nice little jaw line. All these, see that nice little jaw line? We'll be making that. I will show you how to make that. You'll see how the horse head bulges out on the sides slightly on both sides here and over here. But I'm going to rotate that so you can kind of get a good look at it. And this is the main that we'll be making for the horse. So that's what it looks like from the side. I'll kind of give you a top-down view also. And I will show you how to make a horse head like this tonight. It's really cool. It's, I think you will enjoy it. And so I will show you the different types of clay that you can use. There is an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. You can use it again and again. And it's an awesome type of clay. I, I used it all the time when I was a little kid. And, and I used to love playing with it, making all kinds of whales, sharks, and elephants. And then when I got tired of those, I just make new, new types of animals. Uh, another type of clay that you can use is an air hardening clay that hardens probably within a couple of hours or overnight. And you can buy this in any art store. And uh, it's a good clay. This one you can actually paint, so it's, it's, it's a nice one to use. My preference for the clay is something called Super Sculpey. And you can fire this in the oven at 275 degrees. And in about 15 or 20 minutes, it hardens, and you can paint it, sand it. It, uh, it captures a tremendous amount of detail, and that's why I enjoy this type of clay. So what we will do is I will show you some of the tools we'll be using tonight. We're going to be using, I have a little kit here. You can buy these in any art store, the, the little sculpting tools. And there's one particular tool that I like to use from this package, which is this little sculpting tool here. You can see that it almost has like a triangular type head. And this is what we'll be using to make the eyes tonight. I'll just hold this up so you can get a good view of it. This little area here, that's what we're going to use to scoop out the eyes on the horse. Yeah, excellent tool to use. And they'll also be using some toothpicks right here. What I like about these toothpicks is the ones with the pointed, the pointed ends on both sides. And they're good for making the fur and the mane. And they're good for making the eyes or help them with the eyes and uh, the actual nose and the mouth, mouth. So what we will do is I will show you the types of clay. We're going to use this size ball of clay here for the base. And that's what we're going to use in order to make the base for the horse head. The head will actually be made with this. Uh, I had kind of attached some clay here, but I'll take that away. This is the size that we'll be using for the horse head. And then for the ears, we'll be using this size ball of clay. You can, I'll hold these in my hands to so get a better view of them. Uh, they're kind of rolling around. But that's the size that you'd like to use for the ears. And we'll be also adding clay, and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to be using something called the additive technique tonight. But what I will show you in the beginning is how to make the base, and I'm going to refer back to my model here. The piece that we'll be making right now is this piece here. As you can see here, we'll make that, and we're going to rest the horse head on top of that. So that's the piece we want to do. And I'm actually going to take this, see how it's flat on the bottom? We're actually going to be tapping that on the table so we can get a, a really good base. And I'll put that down for the time being. So what we will do is I will show you how to make the base. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to take this, I'm going to tap that on the table a little bit. Then what we want to do is kind of extend it. Just kind of, you pull on the clay like a little bit like this, so it kind of extends out. We just kind of work it like that. Just kind of pull a little bit. See, what I'm actually doing is actually like kind of pulling the clay like this. And that's extending it out. And then I'll show you. Just want to kind of work that. 
And what we would do is I periodically refer back to the model here. Right here in our model, you kind of want to make that, that slope. There's like a, a slope going downward there. See, I'm rubbing my finger over it. And you'll make this, and then there'll be a little slope on this side. So what I'm going to do is we'll look. I'll pick this up. And what we want to do is make that slope. So this will be sloping downward, and where my thumb is will be sloping downward. So we'll, I will continue to show you how to make that. So what we can do is kind of press it down like this, and kind of press down on this side also. See my thumb, I'm just kind of pressing that down. And this is the shape that you want right now for the base. So that's what it will look like from the back, the side, and the front. So in the horse head, if you stood it up on end, it would be about, that's the shape that you want. So I will proceed to make the horse head. We're going to take this ball of clay here, and I will show you the shape that we want. What you want to do is it's going to be narrow in here. See how my fingers? We're going to be pinching it here. You're going to have a bulge on this side, and then you're going to have it bulging out on this side, and you're actually going to have some bulges up around where the eyes are. And I'll show you how to make those. And we will proceed to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of take this. It's a round ball of clay. But what we want to do is kind of take and pull this out a little bit. See, I'm just kind of working this and kind of pulling it out a little bit. We get that. And you just kind of want to pull, pull that out. See how it's, it's starting to kind of form? So what we're going to do is just kind of pull that out, but you're making this narrower in here as you're pulling it out. So you're going to kind of have like a round ball up here, and then it's going to make it narrower down here. So you can squeeze it between the fingers to make that, that narrow uh, area for the, um, the horse's head or the snout. So you're just going to work it like that. See how, see how I'm, I'm making it narrower? Just take that. And we just kind of keep working it. And I'm just going to kind of look at it. So I want to kind of make sure it's matching my model horse head. See how the, the shape is very, they're very similar now? See how that, and that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just going to work it a little bit more. And you can see, almost see like how it's wider in here. And see my finger running it there, how it's wider. And you can see the, it's wider here. See my thumb, I'm rubbing it against there. And then over here, it's wider. So that, that's the shape that you want. I'm just going to work this a little bit more. We'll make this round. Just kind of work that like that. Just, and I'm going to look at it to make sure I got the, the shape that I want. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place that head on here. So we're going to take and kind of work this like this. kind of push it in like that. And then what that you should do, you see, you see I take my fingers here and I'm working the clay into the head. I'm just kind of pinching it into the head like this. See this? You just take and push it up like that. Kind of take the clay and push it up against the head. You're taking the clay from the bottom here. See how I'm doing that? Pulling it up and, and bringing it in like that. It's going to work that like that. And you do it all the way around. Because that will be that will be our base. So what we proceed to do now is I think we will do, I just want to look at that. So one thing you just kind of look at it and say, does it look like it's the right shape? So we'll go back to our model here. You see how it is very they're very similar now? And now what we're going to do is, is we're going to proceed to make the, the eyes. And I'll show you how to do that. We'll take this. We're going to take our sculpting tool here. And I'm just going to kind of look at my horse here. See the eye, the black eye there? We just kind of make it in that general area. And what I'm going to do is scoop it out, then place the clay back in there to create the eye. And then we're going to build up the brow over here. So we'll take clay and we'll actually build up that area where I'm going over it with my finger. 
this area here we'll be building that up by adding clay. So I'll proceed to scoop the eye out. So what we'll do is we're going to take and we're going to take our little sculpting tool here and we're going to scoop out the eye. So I'm going to take this as you can see here and we're just going to kind of put that in like that. And, and we're going to go from the other side also. I'll make that, I'll get that so you can We'll scoop that out, and we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to take that little piece of clay. We're going to use that again, so I'm going to take that, and now we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to try to make it an approximately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go roughly to this side, and I'm going to scoop it out on this side. I want to make sure they're in the, roughly the same location. So I go like this, scoop that out. I, then I'm going to go, and I'm going to scoop that from here. So they're roughly the same. I'm just going to put that down, take this little piece of clay and roll it into a little ball. That little piece that you scooped out, we're going to use that again. And I'm, we're going to roll these into two little balls, as you can see here. I'll show you. They're very tiny, very they're no, being uncooperative for me tonight. Those little balls, we're going to put those back into the eye socket. But I just want to make sure that I've made them big enough. I'm going to put these down on the table right now. And I'm just going to make sure that these are, these are wide enough now. So I just kind of look at this, you know, and I might just want to just kind of work it a little bit, see how wide it is. That looks like it's pretty good. I just want to make sure there's no extra clay or debris in here. There might be like extra clay in there, so I'm just trying to scoop it out. So now what I want to do is take this little piece of clay here, and I'm going to place it, take the ball of clay, and place it back into that, the, which is like the eye socket, we'll call it. So now we're going to take our sculpting tool, and I'm just going to kind of work that back in. Place that in there. So what I would do is kind of take that and kind of work, work around the eyeball, make a little indentation underneath and then we'll make an indentation you see how I'm doing that? I'm just gonna kind of push on that a little bit like that and now I'm just gonna kind of look at that to see what it, it looks like so I'm just gonna just keep working it so I'm placing that eyeball on there and then it's kind of making like little indentations with my tool underneath the eye to kind of work around the eye. See, I'm just kind of pressing in like that, ever so slightly. And I, you can see the eye now. See how we put that in there? But we're also going to build up the, the eyebrow in a minute. But I want to place the, take the other piece of clay, place it into the eye socket here. As you can see, this piece of clay here, I'm going to take and place that in there. And we're just going to kind of work that in. So we're going to take our sculpting tool and push that in there. So we're going to kind of just work that in like that, work around. And you're going to make the little indentation. You're going to make like little indentations underneath too. But you want to push that eyeball in there. And you could just maybe take your finger and work it a little bit. I was trying to push it in a little more kind of work that like that. I want to build up the, I'll show you in this model, I'm going to put this down. The area now what we're going to do is we're going to take little pieces of clay and we're going to build up around each one of these eyes. See this area here? I'll show you the sculpting tool probably. See how I'm kind of going up and over this area here? We're going to build that out. That's like a little bulge and we're going to build it up and over the eye. And we're going to do the same on the other side. You can kind of see it like it bulges out. So we're going to build that little bulge. So we'll take little pieces of clay and we're going to build out that bulge. So what we proceed to do next is I always have some extra clay around. With the additive technique, we're going to take some clay off here. I'm going to take a little ball of clay here like this. And I'll show you the size. Like this. And then what we want to do is I'm going to roll it between my fingers like this. And I'll show you. We almost kind of want to make, I'll show you the shape that we're looking to make. It might be too big. It might, 
if, if I have to take some of it away, I will. But roll it between your fingers like this. And this is what it looks like right now. I'll show you the extra clay. That's the shape, and I'll try to pick it up and rotate it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of clay, and we're going to put make this into the like the eyebrow. So you're going to take this, and I'll show you. We're going to place this right above the eye. See how I'm placing this right above the eye here? It looks like I might end up taking some of this clay away. So what I'm going to do is I built up this area, but I have too much clay. So I'll take and cut this a little bit and pull that away like this with my tool. And I'll show you. We're going to just kind of work that like that. And see this? You can take this and kind of press that in like this. Take your fingers and kind of press it into the head. But we, we're going to see how I just kind of press that in like that. See how it kind of went into the, see how I did that? And you, we built up that eye. It's really cool. So the next step of the process is we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take and get some more clay again. And we're going to do that same brow. So he, I took a little ball of clay like this about this size, and we're going to build up that eye or brow area. So we're going to take like this, and we're going to roll the clay like this. Now, it, you can tell that by just by looking that I probably have more clay than I need for the eyebrow. But that's, that's all right, because we'll, we'll just cut off the excess clay that we don't need. So I'm going to proceed to pick this model up, and I'll show you. We'll place this right here, like that. See how I'm taking that? And I'm going to kind of press that clay in like that. But what I'm going to do is we have excess clay here. So I'm going to take some of that clay away. I just cut some of that away. I'm going to take, and I'm going to take and press that into the eye now. The eye area. And we're just going to take that, press that down. And so it's a really cool effect. And then what I want to do, too, is I want to take my sculpting tool here and just kind of go around the eye again to kind of make sure that it has a nice outline. So I'm going to take the tool here, and I'm just going to press it in some of these areas here trying to create that nice line for the eye. See, I'm just kind of working that like that, pressing it in. And you kind of want to round it out a little bit. And not too bad. Just kind of work that like that. It, it, it's a really nice effect. So that's what the eye looks like on that side. And then that's what the eye will look like on that side. Don't worry if the proportions are a little off. This is just a new technique I'm showing you tonight. And I want to make sure that, you know, you kind of master it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. So the next thing that we will want to do is I just want to kind of look to make sure my proportions are, are fairly close. They might be a little off, but that's all right if they... Um, The next thing that we want to do is I'm going to take, and I want to create the mane area. See this white mane? We're going to place a piece of clay up there to create that white mane. And I'll also take and place clay up here for the mane here. And I'm going to place clay on the side here where I'm rubbing right there to create the mane. So what we'll do is I have a piece of clay here that originally had, had made up. And we're going to take and, and just kind of roll this. We can roll this on the table. So what we're going to do is take this and just kind of roll it a little bit like this. 
See how we're just rolling it? And then we're going to take and pinch it between our fingers a little bit too, like this. Because what I what kind of want to do is, you almost can think of like a giant carrot and just kind of work it. Just make it longer. So, so you kind of push it like this and then it, you kind of make it longer. You kind of pull on it to make it longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and place this on the horse's head right here in the center. So you take and you place that on top of the head. And then what I'm going to do is also take the additive technique and I'm going to add more clay to the top of the head also. But I want to get the clay off first. Get some pieces of clay. See, I'll just show you. I'm taking some pieces of clay and I'll show you. Just, we'll just take pieces of clay like this and take them off. And then we'll just kind of add them for that main area. So what we proceed to do is I want to take some of this clay now, roll it between my fingers like this, and then we're going to add it to the top of the head right here. So you take that, that clay there and kind of add it. And then we're going to kind of just push it down like that. We're just going to add it. So see how we just added that, that clay like right there. And then we're also going to take some clay here. Take this clay here and just roll it a little bit. And I'm going to take them and pinch it into the side of the head like this. But we're going to, I'm going to pinch it off a little bit here. So you're just adding clay. It doesn't look like much now, but you'll see how it'll, it'll really start to take shape in a minute. And then I'm going to add just a little more, take some of this clay. So what you're doing is you're taking little pieces of clay and you're doing the additive technique. And I'm just going to take this clay here. And you can see I'm rolling this clay in my fingers like this. And we're just going to add it again right here. And then once I, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like once I. So you can kind of see how we're adding it here. And you're just kind of adding it down here. And that'll make a really nice mane. So the next thing that I want to concentrate on doing is I want to make the ears. So we have the, the balls of clay already made. But these are the ears that we want to make. See the shape? See, and then see how I, I kind of um, carved out the inner ear? I'll just kind of turn it around so you see the shape of the ear. This is the shape that we want to make. So it's thin here. It'll be a little thinner down by the base. So it almost like, think of a diamond in a way, the diamond shape. And that's what we will be doing. So I'll proceed to make those two ears and then attach them to the head. So we're going to take this little piece of clay here, and I'll show you. We're almost going to make that diamond shape. So you kind of flatten it out. Take and pinch it between your fingers like this flatten it out and then what you want to do too is make that diamond shape that I was telling you about. So it almost looks like a diamond. Just kind of work it like that, make the diamond. You, you see you flatten out then you press on this side. So see how it's, it's flat and then you're making that diamond shape. So that's the shape that you want to make. So I'm just going to keep working that. I'm going to look at it to make sure I'm doing it right. And we're going to make that. So then what I want to do too is I want to take my sculpting tool now. I want to scoop out part of that ear. So you take this, like this, and you just kind of scoop out part of the ear. So you can go up, you can do it from both sides. And then I'm going to look at that and make sure that it came out the way I wanted. See how I, I hollowed that out? So what we're going to do is we're going to take that ear now. I've got this horse and we're just going to attach the ear right here. So what I do is just press down at the base and kind of push that clay into the horse's head. So see I'm kind of pushing that down and just kind of work that like that. 
and then we'll proceed to make the other ear. I'll just make that diamond shape again. So I'm picking that up and making that diamond shape. And you just kind of work it. So you, you make it, flatten it, then you kind of press it together like that, flatten it again, then press it on the, so you're creating that diamond shape. So we got that. So that's the shape that you'll end up with. That's what it'll look like from the side is kind of, and what I will do is I want to scoop out that ear again. So you take this tool and just kind of scoop out some clay to create that indentation. And you can see, and then I'll look at that. Maybe I might need to scoop a little more clay out. So you're going to take, take the tool again. I need to scoop out a little more clay and just scoop that out like that. So see the little indentation that I made? Just scoop that out. Then we're going to proceed now. We're going to take and put the other ear on this side. And you press that into the head like this. You know, you want to practice, just kind of press that in. What I'm going to do too is I might take the sculpting tool and just kind of work that in like that. See, I'm just kind of pressing on that. And you can do it in the front so it attaches to the head properly. We're going to spin them around and we're going to do it from the back too. So just kind of take and work that clay into the, the horse head. And I'm just going to take a quick look, see if I might have to, sometimes you have to readjust things, so I might have to push that a little back to make that, and then this side here, as I'm showing you, I might have to push that a little forward because you just, you just kind of observe, look at your piece, and say, does it appear that they're in the, the right location? So they're in the approximately the right location. If they're a little off, that's fine. You just experiment with it. You can look at pictures of horses, and that will help you too, because you can say, oh, okay, that, that's uh, what a horse should look like, and that's where the ear should be. So the next step in the process that we will do is I will show you how to make the nostrils. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring my model up. See in the bottom here where my, my, finger, my finger is right there, those two holes? We're going to make those nostrils. So I'll show you, we will take the toothpick and we will make the nostrils. So what I want to do is I'll look at the horse's head right here. And I pre push, this, push this toothpick in. And what I want to do is just kind of take and go back and forth like this. See how I'm doing that? I'll just let me get my hand out of the way. You just kind of go back and forth, back and forth to kind of create that shape. And then we'll proceed to do that on the other side. We'll put that in there. And then you want to take the toothpick like this and go back and forth, back and forth. Like that. And then what we'll do is, is I'm going to look now to see if they're approximately the same size. They look approximately the same size, but I think this side here will work it a little bit more. You see, so you're going up and down like that. See, to create that indentation for the nose. And then you can do the same for the other side. But then what we'll do is we want to make the mouth. So what I like to do with the mouth is you take this. It's nice because you get the nice point. And you take and kind of just push this in and kind of make that little indentation for the mouth. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. I'll show you. We're just going to push that in like that, and I'm going to do to the other side too. Just kind of push in like that, and I'll show you. So you can, you can see the mouth. See how I created the mouth there? You know, you just look to make sure that the, you want to make sure that they're, they're equal on both sides, both the right and the left, that you, um, put them in approximately the right area. The next step in the process that we want to do is we're going to work on making the mane now. So what we're going to do is I'll show you, you take this, take the toothpick, and I'm going to take and kind of make long strokes like this. 
and you kind of just work it like that. Just kind of take and work the main with long strokes, kind of just make the uh, go like the like just just like so. See how I'm just working that, and you got to do you got to do that down here too. So what I would do here is you just kind of work it all the way down here too. Just kind of work that area there because that's that's it's a nice mane. So you just kind of just take the toothpick and make those lines like that. Just kind of make that like that. And it's just really cool. And then you can maybe do some in the back too. See, I'm just kind of doing that in the back too and and I'll show you like it makes those really nice lines. And you're going you're gonna to do that for the entire main area. So I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to do it in this side too. And the other area I also want to make fur in is, you know, I want to do short strokes to make the fur for the, for the rest of the head. Just going to take short strokes like this. And just kind of work it like that. And you're going to go all around the head like that. But there's one other thing that I, I would like to show you what, I, what we need to do is we want to create more of a jawline. I'll show you. I'm going to pick up my model here. See this horse here? I'll show you the head. You kind of want to make a jawline right here. It's going to, you can see here, it's kind of protruding out. It's this kind of... Um, you know, it's kind of bulging out here, but you kind of almost want to make this shape here. See how that is? We're going to add some more clay on both sides of the horse head like that to create that line. I'll show you how to do that. You take a piece of clay here. We're going to do the additive technique now. And just take, you can lengthen this out a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, I'm going to pick up the horse head, and I'm going to show you, we're going to take this, we're just going to add, kind of add this here. To kind of create more of a line there. It's going to make it bulge out a little bit. But just kind of take that, place it on there. And see how I'm kind of making that shape for the bulge. And just add, and this sometimes you can take away. If you put too much clay, just you can take it off. But you can kind of see how we're making the shape of the jaw like that. It's very similar to our model here. We're doing the same thing here. And I'll show you, you can do that on the other side also. If, but in our instance here, we got the main here, so we're not going to worry about adding that, that jawline. But I just wanted to kind of show you how to make that. So then when you look at the face head on, see how it's bulging out? And then normally the horse head will be bulging out on this side too. You can see on the, um, the horse here, like I said, you want to continue making the fur all around the entire head. And I'll show you what it should look like when it's finished. This is what the horse head will look like when it's finished, the unpainted version. As you can see, we have the eyes. See how I built up the eyebrow area here? It's bulging out. You can see the same thing over here on this side, how it's bulging out. You can see the jaw line that I was just showing you how to create. See, I get that jaw line by adding the clay. In this version here, I made a smaller mane, so you can see the, the jaw line here too. And what I did is I added the clay for the mane, and I took the toothpick. You can see just kind of rough that up for the mane area. We can see the ears with the diamond-like shape, how I hollowed those out. And then an another area that you can see is the jaw down here, the mouth. See how I made that line with the toothpick? And then you have the nostrils that were created. You know, 
When you're sculpting out the eyes, you have you, what you want to do is look at the horse, pick it up like this, look at it head on like this, and then you can kind of see if the eyes line up on both sides. See how they're, they're very close? It might take some practice. Sometimes you might get them a little off. One might be lower than the other, but you know, you just want to practice with the clay. So what I'm going to proceed to do now is I want to show you how to paint this horse. We can use acrylic paints, which can be bought in the art store. And uh, there's about 18 in this package. And I'm going to show you, we're going to use black, we're going to use a tan color, and white. And I'll proceed to get those out. The colors we want to use tonight, I like this color. It's a nice tan color, like this. And then we're going to use white, and then we're going to use black. The types of brushes that we'll be using. Let me get some brushes. So I'll show you this brush here. We're probably going to use for the eyes. It's a very small. It's got a nice point to it. So you get the really nice point because that can helps you do really fine detail work. The other type of brush that I want to use tonight is I'm going to still this one here. I'll probably use for the mane. It's a little, it's a little bigger, but it will help enable me to paint that white mane area. And then, for the horse head itself, for the tan, I'm going to use this size brush. It's a little bigger, and it'll allow me to cover more area. I'm going to proceed to move some of these other paints and things that we don't need out of the way, and we will proceed to do the tan color, I think, first. I'll show you how to do that. We'll take this tan color here, and we're going to paint the horse head here. So what we want to do is you want to go back and forth, back and forth, like this, to paint the head. Back and forth, back and forth. and you'll proceed to do the entire head that way, back and forth, back and forth. I'll show you do both sides. Back and forth, back and forth like that. And then we'll proceed back and forth, back and forth. What I like to do for the nostril, I like to like maybe even dab it in there to kind of give it the color. You can take, take and put the brush in where the nostrils are just to give it the color. And then you also want to do the underneath area here where he has his nice little jaw. And do back and forth, back and forth like that for the tan color. Back and forth. The other color we would like to use, I'll just show you in general how to paint it. I'm not going to paint the entire thing because I do have a painted version here to, to show you. And we will take, I want to do the white next. And that's what we'll use for the mane. So what we're going to do is you're going to take, this is the mane area. And we're going to take and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that. Back and forth. It, it really comes out nice once you, once you uh, paint it. I think it makes a big difference in the way the horse looks. It makes it look more, um, more real. So I'll, I'll proceed to show you what we're going to do up above here too. Back and forth, back and forth, like that. And then we'll proceed to paint the mane on this side too. And we're going to do the back and forth, back and forth. So you just go just like that. back and forth. And then I will show you how to do the eyes. We will proceed to do the eyes. That's a little trickier, but it, uh, that's why we have the small brush. But it does give you a really nice effect. I'm going to take and paint the eyes now. So what we're going to do is paint the eye. So we're going to proceed to do the eye here. 
You do that. Just paint that eyeball like that. Just ever so slightly. And then just kind of look to make sure that you didn't miss anything. Don't worry if you don't do it perfectly because you can always touch it up afterward. And then I'll proceed to do the other side. You can take the brush now and just do that eyeball. I'm going to do that. So that's how you would paint it. Now I want to show you what the final version of the horse will look like. As you can see here with the final version, how we, we painted the eyes black, how we, we painted this entire area, how we made the nice fur with the toothpick all around the head. You're going to paint the ears that same color. You're going to use that beautiful tan color. You're going to paint all the ears front and back. And even the indentation that I made in the ears, I painted it the same color. So you paint it all around. See the underside. And I even paint the base that color too because, you know, it looks like part of the horse head. And you, the nice white for the mane. So it, it really comes out nice when you, everything's fully painted. You know, and that's how you do a horse head. And I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. And, you know, it's, it's one of my favorite animals to do. And I want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.